Hi, it's Esther. Just wanted to share something quick that I read in this book called Unlocking Your True Potential, How to Access the Divine Within by Rav Dror. And I opened the book right into the middle and something caught my eye and it was chapter 25. And the title of the chapter is I Ask, You Answer. And this resonated with me because for my work as a copywriter and a writer, I have to ask a lot of questions before I start an assignment. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm working with. And that's what this chapter is about. It's about taking the time to ask yourself your inner questions and to find the answers from within yourself. What is considered real success in life? Money, lust, desirous pleasures, the most delicious food? I'm not saying anything. I am just asking. Does running after such things give you the joy of life, success, or stress, sadness, and depression? So this is, this is a wonderful chapter because the answers are unique. The answers are, yes, living in the present moment. Yes, listening to your inner voice and finding the voice of your soul. But there's something so beautiful in this chapter, and it talks about how to move yourself to the side and create an inner space that's empty inside yourself and fill it with light. When, the, when you have that free and empty space, from there you can act. From there you can be respectful for others. You could listen to your friend if he has something to say. You could let someone cut ahead of you in line. You could not hunk, you know, like a madman at the intersection and not block an intersection. It's being human. It is the hope that you will learn to have the patience and the will to bring more people into your world and not to think that you're the only one of importance. So this is such a beautiful chapter on so many levels. It's only three and a half pages. But there's hours and hours and hours that we can learn from it. I think that what I'm picking up is taking the time to listen to ourselves and ask, us the, ask ourselves the hard questions and also to listen for the answers and to know that we can create a, a space inside ourselves that we can fill with light and we can act from that space to the outside world. And Maya Angelou was once interviewed. I saw her being asked a question. Someone asked her, what is the most important lesson that you gave your son? And without hesitation, she said, the most important lesson I gave my son was that he needs to know that there's a space inside himself that's only his, that no one can touch. It's uniquely his. And nobody can go there. It's only his space, and that's inside him. And it's such a similar concept. And how many of us get to do that? How many of us get to know that we can move ourselves aside, create this empty space, fill it with light, and it's only ours? And then we can operate in the world from that place. So I doubt I am uh, covering this chapter in any way, shape, or form completely, or like it was intended. So I advise you to get the book, read the whole chapter, and um, comment if you have any comments or more ideas about this. And, uh, and that's it for today. So stay in joy. It is the month of Adar. Stay in joy. Stay in joy. Listen to yourself. Create a space inside yourself. Find your own answers. And act to the world from that inner place of space that you created that's full of light. That's what you bring to the world. That's it for today.